Hey guys, hey guys, it's the Archangel here again, and um, just showing you exactly how many Kenner figures I have. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, I'm using the light there to kind of uh, illuminate it a bit more because the camera's struggling to pick it up and make everything look dark. So I'll just get started here. As you can see, I have two bull aliens, um, both with Death Face agree accessories. These little rubbery things. Uh, this one's in perfect loose condition. This one actually, the tail snapped off and the button there. I sanded it down so his arm can go back, which I'll show off in his review. Um, behind there is the Rhino alien, which is exactly the same. I mean, his back legs, in my opinion, are just far too big. Uh, the Gorilla alien, you recognise him from his review with his little face, again, which is blue. The Scorpion alien, which looks a lot like an alien warrior. He also comes with a face again, which is brown. Uh, then we have the Swarm Alien. You probably recognise this from my other video. This one, the Grasshopper. And the Wasp. <laughs> yeah, the electrics are buggered. Shame. Um, the most recent review, the um, Queen face looker, I think. There we go, you got a sort of like eyes up in a way, you just stick it in front of a light. Um, so that's that one. The Mantis Alien, which really looks cool when you shine it up to a light. Actually, if I do it to this one, it not really working very well. It's because of the way the camera, the camera does not pick up the focus very well. Oh, there we go. As you see, it looks pretty freaking weird. Freaking weird, but awesome. Um, so that's him. Uh, the killer crab alien. His joints are very stiff, actually, and I only have one projectile of him, not well, one parasite. Next, what we have is the the wild boar alien. Pretty cool, actually. He's chunky, and I got him. Didn't expect him to be as chunky. Next, we have the panther alien. Really like the paint job, and he also has a bit of Transparent in him. He's pretty nice. I like his paint job, his gold and all that. And um, next what we have is his little parasite, which not many people I don't think notice, but if you flip it up. It's very nice mold and detail in there, like little legs. And that in itself is its own little thing. Yeah, so that's that one. Let's put it down there. Next what we have is the Flying Queen. Whoa, focus there. This is pretty neat and it glows bluish except for the head's bloody purple. Strange. Pretty cool. This is the first of Kenner's interesting toys when they started getting into flipping making strange ones. Next we have is the Snake Alien, which is a bit notorious actually because of the wire tail. So it's starting to break if I just fold it straight. You can sort of see rips, little cracks, right? Up. It's kind of bad, really, the cracks on this. But anyway, this is a dark blue. This is one of my favourites actually, just weird looking as hell. Looks friggin' creepy, but epic at the same time. Can't stand up. He's a little bit of a pain to stand up, but I think if you get it just right, you can sort of manage it. Uh, next, what we have, I have two alien queens. Now, this one, as you can probably see, it looks very silverish compared to that one because this is an older one. And uh, I did own a queen before, which is that one. But this one, when I got it, it was all silver, and the uh, one of the gimmicks doesn't work. But it comes with this as an accessory, which is pretty cool. The other queen, however, the chest burster did not survive. I don't know what happened to this. I know the tail dropped off at some point, but I do not know what happened to that. It was like that one when I got it, but I just found it like this a few days later. Here is the other queen. Pretty neat. This is from Series 1, same as the bull, the gorilla, and the scorpion. All the marines I have a Series 1. The pavaloda. A big one. This is a also a series one 
toy of the aliens. Pretty neat. Guns and all our extra bits, and uh, there's a few minor di differences between it and the film. I mean, that was pretty neat. And what we have here are the Marines. We have Corporal Dwayne Hicks, who's rocket launcher. As you can see if I just. I've made him some new stickers using Photoshop. Uh, we have Private Mark Drake, who is played by Mark Rolson. I forgot to mention Hicks is played by um, Michael Bine. Also, it says his name there. And uh, I used replacement stickers for him in Photoshop. He would come with a bayonet, but it is in if you got him mint, but mine didn't. So, just made him a little cardboard one, which just slips on. He's dropping his gun. He's got a problem with that. There we go. Next we have is Bishop Android. He's pretty cool. Uh, I got him mint, so I have everything, including his card. I have one of it, this handle back here. It's brown plastic, and it broke. Yeah, this one right here is brown plastic, and it broke. Uh, brown plastic's known for being brittle like that. And he's holding this massive Gatling gun. And, uh, I still have the stickers for him. And next we have, next to him, is Lieutenant Ripley. That sticker there is one of the only remaining ones. The flame one down there, the logo, the weird logo, and the name on the side were all Photoshop. I uh, made them on Photoshop, I just, you know, printed them out, so it was very small, used the measurement and all that. Yeah, Ripley carries a massive flamethrower, which is actually a turbo torch type thing, and she's letting go of it apparently. And um, next what we have is the Stinger XC37. You've probably seen this in my other review. This is the only thing I've got with all the stickers actually remaining on it. There's a bit there where Marines can stand and Marines can unintentionally as well. Inadvertently you can try and fit a third one in here if this is up. Don't have the gun sadly, a bit of a shame. But I've got everything else. And that sticker in there is peeling a bit. I'll just um, show you that. Pretty neat, actually. I like the vehicle. Again, it does. It opens. A bit bland in there, but meh. And of course, you capture Claw with a new.